So there are actually a lot of heroes in the game, which could potentially go ahead and have like, a great chance against him. Okay, sorry for interrupting this video, I just thought that maybe you want to know that you can gonna get a skin for free. Yes, absolutely for free, okay? So all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below your ID, your in-game name, and the skin that you want, which is under 300 diamonds, okay? And you'll have a chance of winning that for free, okay? You'll find more information down in the description, okay? But sorry, let's gonna jump back into this amazing video. What's up people and welcome to this video and we're gonna be talking even more about the new hero Argus and reason is why he's just too overpowered and we need to shut him down especially if you can't afford him and uh, here's some tips how you're gonna be able to actually go and take him down and how you're supposed to go and play with him so I'm gonna give you some tips how you're supposed to like act against him and stuff like that and then I'm also gonna give you a lot of heroes which have a great potential of actually having a chance of killing him Okay, so first of all, the reason why he is great, the reason why he's able to kill almost every single one in the game is because of his ultimate, okay? But if you can avoid his ultimate, you're fine, okay? So if you can see that he's going down to low HP and you know that he has your ultimate, you should start backing away, you should start running away, avoiding hitting him, because if you do hit him, he will just gain HP and you will deal no damage, so there is no point for you to actually attack him while he has his ultimate, okay? It's just pointless, you will only go ahead and give him HP. So when you see him getting those wings, you just run instead, okay? You will be the one who's losing HP, he will only be gaining HP. If you have a slow, go ahead and use that. If you have a flicker, go ahead and use that and try to avoid his hook. And as fast as you can see that his wings are gone, go ahead and attack him again. If you're stronger than him, you will probably gonna win, okay? But he is still though quite strong against like just people attacking on him because he will attack his fury a bit more. So what you can do if you're uh, like someone that can deal a lot of damage fast, you should really gonna do that and try to avoid hitting on him multiple times. So for example, if you're playing an assassin, go ahead and use your abilities as fast as possible and try to avoid dealing like damage over time, okay? Just try to do an insane amount of damage instantly, okay? And then. That's it, okay? If you're a fighter against him, there is no way you're gonna win. He's just gonna he's gonna kill you with your ultimate, and because of your fighting one versus one, he will use proc his fury after another, like bam, 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 okay? Because you're giving him all these auto attacks, okay? Hopefully, you understood what I said there. Okay, so crowd control is extremely good against him. Crowd control is extremely good. If you're able to crowd control him, when he's at lower HP, he's gonna be dying, okay? Because if you're playing Argus, you wanna be using your ultimate at the last time, okay? So, because you'll be dealing more damage the lower HP you have, and you'll also be able to survive even longer if you're using it at the end, instead of using it like indirectly in, in the beginning of the fight. So most likely, if you're going against an Argus, they will be using their ultimate right before they're gonna be dying, okay? So if you can crowd control right before that moment, so they don't have a chance, of actually go ahead and use your ultimate. For example, you stun them, or yeah, you say, example, stun them, or you fear them, or whatever, you knock them away, and they're not gonna be able to use their ultimate, you'll be able to kill them, obviously, okay? So if you have crowd control like stun or fear or whatever, go ahead and use that right before you can see that he has a very low HP and he will just go ahead and die instantly. And uh, another very great um, uh, thing you can do if they have low HP if you're playing like an assassin or just a hero which can go ahead and deal a lot of damage instantly but not over time and let's gonna say Karina for example. Karina is an extremely good example for this because she has every single one of her abilities she can go and proc them like instantly and deal a ton of damage <clears throat> she's probably extremely good at actually killing uh, Argus because as fast as you can see that he has low, like about half HP Go ahead and jump on him deal all the damage that you can just try to like make him miss the ultimate Okay, because I'm not sure if there's a bug <clears throat> or something When you're using your ultimate, but you're still taking damage. He's still gonna die. Okay, so you just go ahead and do it When you see that he has about half HP well or very low HP when you know you're able to kill him Go ahead and make all the builders on him and he will be able to die, okay? Because he's not the hero with the most uh, HP or armor or defense like that. He's just a very, very strong fighter, okay? He can 1v1 anyone 
but if you're able to kill him right before he can even use his ultimate, he's worthless because his ultimate is his whole deal. If you can completely remove his ultimate, then you have won, okay? And you can do that by stunning, crowd control, or just dealing a lot of damage right before he's gonna be using his ultimate. Most likely, they will be using the ultimate right before they're about to die, so yeah, okay? So, heroes, which you don't want to use <coughs> going a fight against this guy, is just fighters in general, okay? Or marksmen, okay? Because marksmen and fighters, because marksmen and fighters, they will just go ahead and stack his like um, his passives. He will gain even more fury, and when he is in his uh, ultimate state, you will be able to give him a lot, a lot of HP, okay? Because you're attacking him constantly. So if you're fighter or marksman, and you can see you're fighting against him. When he's using your ultimate, you just run away, or just try to avoid fighting him, okay? <laughs> it's sad, but that's how you have to think when going against this new hero, because he's really that strong, especially with his passive and ultimate. But like I said in uh, uh, other videos, he will most likely gonna get nerfed, but uh, these tips are for you who's gonna be playing him when the update comes out, okay? So, now I'm gonna give you some heroes which probably could potentially be extremely good against this guy. So I'm gonna be starting off with some assassins and mages, because I said to I told you, that heroes that are going to deal a lot of damage just instantly are probably really good. So, first of all, I'm usually going to say Karina, like I said earlier, and probably the best assassin which you can choose if you know you're going to go against Argus or play against Argus or whatever, because she's able to deal a lot of damage extremely fast, and then you most likely will be able to shut him down right before he's using the ultimate, and even though if you don't succeed at you have a movement speed, you're able to uh, run away extremely fast, if he doesn't, if he's not able to hook you, or put the bleed effect on you, you'll be able to run away most likely, and also you're not auto attacking super much, which, go which will go ahead and make, so you're not giving him a lot of like fury, so that is really great, or Rage, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so Karin is definitely a good choice. Then I also kind of picked uh, Fanny, okay, because she also has this, her ultimate and her, like, yeah, her, what is it called, her cables, okay? Because if you're able to surprise him and deal a lot of damage on him, he's gonna die, okay? Because if you can see his low HP and you're successfully hit him with your cables, like your cable, your going over him and dealing damage and then just ulting him directly, maybe you will actually have a chance to actually kill him right before his ulting, so you are gonna use that right when he has low HP as I said a couple of times in this video guys. And even though if, uh, if you're not able to kill him, most likely you'll be able to use your cable to run away because you don't want to 1v1 him, you don't want to fight him basically, so you're most likely gonna be able to run away with that. And then I all like she's dealing a lot of damage and you have the escape ability, and then I also picked Alucard. Uh, because Alucard can also deal a lot of damage like this instant, but you don't really want to fight, like I said, one with one, like use auto attacks, you don't really want to do that. So you, if you're going to be using Alucard, uh, he's going to use your abilities, and if he doesn't die there, try to run. You do have a jump ability, and uh, yeah, so most, hopefully you'll be able to run, okay? And then some mages, which I think is just godlike, okay? And I will be talking more about these later on as well. So the first uh, mage which I picked, which I think is a really good option against him, is actually Adora, okay? Because every single ability which Adora has, is like she can use them instantly and just deal a lot of damage to him, like directly, like bam bam bam, okay? So Adora's are actually really really great, not only because she can deal this high amount of damage really fast, but she does have that stun, okay? So really good combo against Argus when using Adora, she's using the stun, and then uh, the two other builds, is the ultimate and the first ability, perfect! combination to kill Argus right there, because if you're able to stun him, and when you see that he has low HP, uh, then he's stunned, and then he can't use his ultimate, and he's bam, you're gonna kill him with your ultimate and your, your first ability. Easy kill. And then another hero is Vexana, I choose her because she has this blob which she can put out, and deal a lot of damage instantly, to like, a really really high damage. And she also has this fear, okay, put a fear on him, put the blob on him on the ground, like the circle, and kill him. And then if you're lucky, you were able to use the ultimate on him, which will go ahead and you will get Argus in your team. And he's a really good fighter, so that's probably pretty good. Um, and Aurora is also not a really good option, because she has this opportunity to deal a lot, a lot of damage really fast. And uh, you can also go ahead and ice them, like freeze them so they can't do anything, which is also amazing. Which is also a great counter to Argus, because you just really want to deal a lot of damage to him and just go ahead and stun him and stuff like that. And I also thought maybe, so maybe Alice could potentially be a pretty good choice as well, because 
if you're playing a good, if she's really, if if you're not like behind, she she can use her stun and she can use quite deal quite a lot of damage really fast. But her ultimate is more like a, a, an ability which is dealing damage over time. So you just want to go ahead and time that perfectly when he has low HP and she has the stun. Okay, and like I said earlier, heroes which crowd which which has uh, crowd control are really good heroes against this guy. Okay, but I've been playing this guy and sometimes actually when I've been crowd controlled, when I've been stunned, I still been able to use the stun. But I think that's just a bug. It happened once when Saber ulted me and I was still able to use my ultimate in the air, which shouldn't like I shouldn't be able to do that. So yeah, but like heroes which ha have good stuns against. Them is like I just said, Adora, Vexana, Aurora, and Alice. Okay, all of them, like they are really good options if you're playing a mage. Okay, because you're able to do a lot of damage fast, and you have the option to stun them. Okay, which is really great. Okay, but then also Nana is also a really good option because she has a lot of crowd control. You can go ahead and make them into a cat, and you can knock him up into the air, so he can't use ultimate whatsoever. Okay, which is just great. And go ahead and use that uh, at the end right before. He's about going to turn all this okay? All everything which I'm saying is when he has like low HP. When you know you're able to like kill him with his crowd control or anyone else can kill him. Okay, Franco is also a really good option because you can hook him and then you can use your ultimate on him and he's not able to use the ultimate and you're just completely gonna go and shut him down, okay? Saber uh, is also a really good option because of the ultimate you're able to knock him up in the in the air and he's not gonna be able to ult. Though there was the bug when he Saber ulted me and I still was able to use the ultimate, which shouldn't be happening, okay? And now I'm talking about Saber was ulting me when I was playing Argus, and I was still able to use the ultimate in there, so I, I wasn't uh, able to die, which is really weird, okay? Ruby is another good choice because she has a lot of crack control as well, so use crack control and when he has low HP, try to make him not use his ultimate. Uh, Shu is also not a good option, Akai and Tigreal as well, because all those three has a lot of crowd control, stuns, and they just knock away so they can't use the ultimates, okay? So there are actually a lot of heroes in the game which could potentially go ahead and have like, a great chance against him. Obviously if you're playing a guy which has not crowd control, if you're playing like Akai, Tigreal, Ruby, Shu, Saber, Franco, anyone like that, and you're using your crowd control, you gotta make sure that either you or someone else is gonna be killing him during the crowd control. Because if you're using the crowd control and he doesn't die during that crowd control, he's just gonna use his ultimate after, okay? So if you're like uh, two against one, you just use the crowd control uh, when you see the potential right before he's about to use his ultimate. And yeah, okay. That's basically how to counter him right now. He is just extremely strong. I don't think the, the server has been updated yet, but it will be updated really soon. We will see if he will be nerfed right before he gets released or if he will be as overpowered as he was. We will gonna see. He will most likely gonna nerf in the future though, so yeah. But these are just extreme tips for you how to gonna counter this new hero, Argus. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I will see you next week, guys. But as always, thank you for watching.